Sometimes many people think that uh, color correction happens in speed grade, which is another Adobe piece of software if you didn't know that, or Adobe Premiere Pro. And there are color correction options within After Effects, and that's what I'm going to show you uh, in these couple of videos in this color correction section for basic color correction. So I've got a composition and it's titled color correction. I've got this aerial city shot. So if I play this back, you can just see um, that it's just a regular clip. Uh, nothing special about it. So if I go over here and I type in the word auto, I've got this auto color, auto contrast, and auto levels option. What we're going to be working with here is the auto color correction. Now what I can do is drag this over to my layer and let go and notice the color difference. So it's actually auto color corrected the image. Now this is just a basic color correction. There's nothing advanced here, but it's got, uh, you know, you can adjust the black clip to if you'd like to increase the blacks or you can uh, adjust the white clip if you'd like to use these for your contrast. So let me reset those colors. Then there's also um, temporal smoothing. So if I scroll this out a little bit, you can see that it'll smooth out uh, in seconds for the color correction by using that temporal smoothing and it does take a little bit of time to cache that. And then what you can also do is you can blend with original. So if I drag this up, I can take the color corrections that have been made and then blend those with the original footage. So if there's something where you just want to uh, have the auto color correction and then use it just about halfway, you can move it up to about 50% or if you wanted to, you know, just use a little bit of the color correction to help your uh, color look a lot better on your video clips you can do that uh, and this as well so pretty simple just drop drop the auto color onto the layer and then adjust these if necessary if you need to increase the contrast or anything like that in the next video I'm going to talk about uh, one thing that's really big in Premiere Pro recently um, according to the 2015 updates and beyond is the Lumetri color uh, Lumetri color panel and I'm going to show you how to use that here in After Effects uh, in the next tutorial